So, uh, you know, the, the ulama, they say that you have to take from, from, from people. Uh, you know, we, in hadith literature, you have what's called a wijada. You know, wijada is the early muhaddithun were completely against it. The idea that you could just take a book of hadith and start transmitting them or something. No, you had to take books from scholars, either munawala or qira'a, you know, or imba, some way. Um, I mean, sometimes they would give you their corrected text and give you ijazah and then you could relate it even if you didn't read them with them. But the idea of just going and buying a book in a, in a, in a store uh, was completely rejected by the early community. And, and we're in Asr al-Wijada. You know, this is the Asr of wijada It's just people go and they get on Google or they buy a book and they become faqih and start giving fatwa and things like that. So the ulama, our ulama say, Abu Hayyan al has some famous lines. He said, يظن الغمر أن الكتب التهدي آخ فهم لإدراك العلومي that the, the, un, the inexperienced one thinks that books will guide the one of cleverness to understanding. You know, somebody who's smart, he's smart. But the ignorant one doesn't know that in these books are difficulties that confuse even the, the most intelligent people. إِذَا رُمْتَ الْعُلُومَ بِغَيْرِ شَيْخٍ ظَلَمْتَ عَنَ السِّرَاطَ الْمُسْتَقِيمِ If you try to get these sciences without a teacher, you will go astray. وَتَلْتَبِسُ الْأُمُورُ عَلَيْكَ حَتَّى تَسِيرَ أَضَلَّ مِنْ تُومَ الْحَكِيمِ And you will go more astray, and things will become, some, become so confused that you'll be, end up like Toma, the, Thomas, the doctor. You know, there's different variations of what happened to him, but they say he inherited books, and in one of the books it said, Al-Habbatu Sauda Dawa'un Min Kulli Da. The black seed is a cure of every disease, but the, the transcriber, the scrivener, had put two dots. So he read Al-Hayatu Sauda. The black snake is a cure for every disease, so he let a black snake bite him and he died. You know, so that's Tumar Hakim. Uh, Ibn Arif has some lines. He says, "Man lam yushafa aliman bi usurihi, fayaqinuhu fil mushkirati ghununu." If you don't hear orally from teachers and and the foundations that they have, your certainty in the difficulties will just be doubt. Man ankar al ashya aduna tayqunin wa tathabutin, fa muanidun maftunu. If you reject things without ascertaining what they are, like people that just make a reject, oh, that's hadith mawdu'ah. They don't know. You know, they don't know. There's a hadith, uh, and I quoted it one time, you know, it said, Ana Madinatul ilmi wa aliyun babuha. You know, I'm the city of knowledge and Ali is its door. And somebody said, hadith mawdu'ah. La asala lahu. You know, and just like, I was like, okay, <laughs> I didn't know. But I went back and I checked and it's a, it's a hadith, it's there. You know, the ulama, there's some difference of opinion about it. It's a hadith, it's related by muhaddithun. The hadith, I, once I heard another time a hadith quoted, Utub al-ilm wa fil-seen, seek knowledge even in China. Had mawdu' la asala People say these things like they're nothing. Just, oh, the... The ulama of adab, if you read their book, they say, Lam aqif I didn't find this hadith. They don't say, La asla lahu. Ah, well, well. Every hadith in the world, mashallah, you, uh, you uh, acknowledge. There are books of hadith that were destroyed. We, don't, we lost hadith. I mean, a lot of the hadith in the ihya, some of the ulama say that those hadith came from other sources. But that hadith is related by Hafid al Maghrib ibn Abd al Bar in the Kitab al Ilm. And the meaning is sound, and it's been quoted for centuries by the ulama as being a sound meaning, you know. So he says, if you reject things without really ascertaining whether they're true or not, and tathabbut, he said, you're just mu'anid muftun. You're an obstinate, uh, deluded person. And then he said, al-kutubu tathkiratun liman huwa alimun. 
books are a, a reminder for scholars who already know. وَالصَّوَابُهَا بِمُحَادِهَا مَعْجُونُ And the, 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 what's right in those books and what's impossible or difficult in those books is mixed together. They're mixed together. And then he said, وَالْفِكْرُ That's a beautiful last line. Because he says, وَالْفِكْرُ غَوَّاسٌ عَلَيْهَا مُخْرِجٌ وَالْحَقُّ فِيهَا لُؤْلُؤٌ مَكْنُونٌ he, he does in the last, the very thing he's warning you from. He makes it very hard to, to understand the last line. He said that the, the idea, understanding, can only be brought out by somebody who dives deep. And the haq in, in, these, in these books is like pearls that are buried. You know, you have to, the, the pearl diver has to learn how to hold his breath. You know, they, it's, it's a science that, that they, it's transmitted. But pearl divers traditionally, they can hold their breath much longer than normal people. And they dive deep so they know how to get the pearl and then they come up. And that's the same with books, the warning that he's making, Ibn Arif, about that. So, you know, alhamdulillah, all of the teachers here have, you know, studied with teachers. You know, mashallah, we have, the, you know, Dr. Omar, I consider him alim in the West, definitely. But we're students of knowledge, and so, you know, claims, just we'll do our best, inshallah, and inshallah, try to overlook any mistakes. Subhanakallah, alhamdulillah, ashadu an la ilaha ila anta astaghfiru wa tubu ilayk. Allahumma salli wa sallam wa baraka ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam tasneeman kathira wa la hawla wa la quwata illa billah. Allahumma filana wa rahuna wa tuba alayna. Allahumma inna nasaruka ilman nafi'an. وقلبا خاشعا وعينا دامعة اللهم اشفينا وكفينا يا الله اللهم لا تدع لنا ذنبا إلا غفرت ولا هما إلا فرجت ولا حاجة هي لك فيها رضا إلا يسرت وقضيت يا رحم الراحمين اللهم اشرح صدورنا اللهم اقبل عمالنا اللهم وفق القائمين على هذا المكان وفقهم يا رحم الراحمين اللهم كما أضافنا ف جعلهم من ضيوفك يا رحم الراحمين اللهم كما سقانا وأشبعنا اللهم أسقيهم وأشبعهم يا رحم الراحمين اللهم إن نسرك رضاء والتقاء والغنى اللهم وفق إخواننا وأحبابنا في الشام وفي كل مكان حيث يعانون في سبيلك يا رحم الراحمين اللهم اجعل كيد الكائدين في نحورهم وفق المسلمين وانصرهم منصرين يا رحم الراحمين سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون والسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله